Okay, WWL Sports. It's the first full college football Saturday, and the Iowa Hawkeyes started off with a big one versus Indiana. Sports director Rick Coleman tells us how the 12th man helped out in this one. Thank you, Travis. After going nearly two years without fans here at Kinnick Stadium, the Iowa Hawkeyes rode a great surge of energy in the first half of their game as they swarmed onto the field against Indiana. The Hawkeyes got the ball first, and Iowa tailback Tyler Goodson finds an opening on the edge and sprints 56 yards for the Hawkeyes' first touchdown of the season, just 85 seconds into the game. When you score that early in the game, um, you know, and it being the first game that everybody's in the stadium, the energy level was just up there, and it was just up there, and it was very exciting for me and the team. The celebrating Hawkeye fans didn't have to wait long for the next score. Just 50 seconds later, Riley Moss picks off this tip pass from the Hoosiers quarterback, Michael Penix, and Moss returns it for another Iowa touchdown, 14-0 Hawks, just two minutes, 15 seconds in. Riley Moss gets his second pick six of Penix with less than two minutes to play in the half. Iowa intercepted the Hoosier quarterback three times in the first half. For 17 Hawkeye points, Iowa led 31-3 at halftime, and the Hawkeyes cruised to a 34-6 opening day victory. It felt like my first game in Kinnick again because uh, it was loud and rowdy, and it was, it was absolutely amazing. So um, it, one thing I'll never forget in my life is, is running out of that tunnel, especially today. I mean, that's top three loudest crowds in Kinnick so far. So. So the Hawkeyes get out of here with an impressive 34-6 victory over the 17th-ranked Indiana Hoosiers. Now they have 24 hours to celebrate and contemplate until their big game next week at Iowa State. Reporting from Iowa City, I'm Rick Coleman, News 7 KWWL.